Hello and welcome to another episode of The Spectrum's Worst Games. This episode we're looking at a game called Time Tracks, uh, which Sinclair User reviewed back in 1988 as having a 1 out of 10. Is it that bad? Let's find out. First thing I want to do though is, uh, is have a quick look through a couple of things about it because uh, we've got some of the reviews from other magazines as well and they weren't so harsh as Sinclair User actually. Uh, Crash gave it 63%. Um, Sinclair User's initial review when it came out on uh, Mind Games was 3 out of 5. Um, and your Sinclair reviewed it in 1986 as 7 out of 10. However, for the, rev uh, for the um, re release by Bug Bite Software, which is the inlay that we've got on the screen there, um, they gave it 1 out of 10. And their review was worded as such. Um, unoriginal, unexciting, unmotivating, unplayable, and almost unbelievably un unbelievable junk, hardly worth reviewing. In this limp-wristed programming monstrosity, which can only be loosely uh, loosely termed as a, as a game, uh, you play a little jerky sprite who has to find some missing objects that belong to the most powerful minds in creation. What's wrong with it then? For a start, there are many different locations, all of which look like bad attempts, at a cross between Impossible Mission and Jet Set Willy. The main character is small and badly animated and designed and the menu system doesn't really do very much a waste of time. 1 out of 10. Uh, reviewed by Tony Dillon uh, back in January 1988. Okay, is it that bad? I'll tell you something, the inlay um, instructions that this game, uh, this game came uh, with is abs is, is an absolute monster. Um, I've got it as a text layer on my screen, and it's it's a full sort of ten pages long. I won't bore you with the details, um, but what I will tell you is that the aim of the game, uh, time tracks, is the game of the quest for peace in our time. The aim is to shut off the invading dark ones and reset the fabric of the universe. To do this. You need to pacify the eight minds by returning their character items to them and then seal the portals through time by casting the correct spell. Like all good quests, this one is not easy. It is strongly recommended that you read through the instructions before you get seriously involved. Don't make it any harder. Okay. There we go. Let's uh let this let's get this game up and running then. Uh full disclosure, I have um briefly played it before starting the video that was only just to uh, sort out the controls as you can probably see on the screen there there's four joystick options keyboard Kempston Sinclair and cursor um, for some reason I couldn't get the keyboard controls to give me a fire button uh, so I've got it running on Sinclair with uh, keyboards mapped to the controls anyway let's get going right so the um so the description in the inlay seems to indicate this is quite a magic spells and sorcery type game. Um, oh, that's good. Oh. oh, okay, so he does go down the stairs, but he sort of climbs down the side of them. That's a bit weird. But if this is a sword and sorcery type game, why am I in what looks like a really bad version of Little Computer People's House? Okay, let's have a look around the house then. Let's see if we can find anything. It's not a very impressive house, I admit. Okay, um, I can't really do much apart from walk around. I think I'm already... Be Did I just come through the same door? Oh yes, this is the extra menu. Um... Oh yeah, there is sword and sorcery because it does actually say cast there. But obviously so far I've not actually found anything to pick up. Um, let's see if we can find a room other than what we've got because it looks like at the moment... Oh, I found a third room. There we go. Um, oh, there's something over there that says JCR on it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm struggling to see where the magic spells come in on this game. Um, oh, okay, he's stuck on the stairs. Oh, this is thrilling videos. I'm sorry about this. 
Um, okay, let's go up these stairs. No, not jump. The controls are very um, not very uh, intuitive at all. I think. Hang on, what's happening? Something's flashing above me there. They said that the character is badly animated. I don't really think it is. I think the uh, the sprite has got a good range of movements. I just think. Ooh, oh, okay, so when you jump, you jump forward. Um, okay, he does sort of look like he's bouncing up and down when he's walking, um, but that's all right. I said he's badly animated. Made me think I was about to see some sort of. Uh, character square animation. Uh, you must know the sort of game where um, you move them left and right. It's popular actually later on in the Spectrum's life um, where they moved in character squares to try and avoid colour clash. This game as you can see they've just completely steered into it um, by having the character practically translucent so when he walks in front of things like that he turns yellow which is kind of cool I think. Um, Right, I'm having. I don't really know what I'm meant to be doing. Maybe I should have paid more attention to the instructions. If you have played this game, and you're watching this review, uh, and you like this game, please tell me if there's anything that I'm missing. Oh, okay. So I've now got somebody in a spacesuit flying around in circles. Can I do anything with the telly? No. Oh, he's chasing me now. No, I'm trying to go up the stairs. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he climbs up the side, doesn't he? This has got possibly more to it than the game I reviewed last time called Saracen but so far it looks like there's only the three rooms oh this is the stair that I got stuck up oh no oh you prat okay there we go so he is actually moving round but yet again I'm in I'm in a room where you can't really do much and is this the spaceman now reappearing it's going to get in my way. What the? It's a portal. Okay, maybe that's what I should have been doing from the very start, is actually head straight for the portal. This has just gone completely... It's, it's taken a real 90 degree right turn. And I don't know what... Okay, maybe walking in front of this glowing skull... No, it's okay. I was going to say walking in front of this glowing skull might not be a great idea, but nothing happens. I was going to say there's um, this part of an element of this game that looks a bit like Bruce Lee. It's not as good as Bruce Lee, obviously. If it was Bruce Lee, I'd be kicking the green yammo and the ninja... Uh, halfway across the screen by now. It's it's not a rubbish game. It's just a bit slow. There's no sound apart from the odd beep. Okay, so I can't actually go anywhere here. Can I pick up the owl? Do you know something, actually? Maybe I should go take hold look ooh okay didn't actually pick up the owl mine so that's a thing um i'm not really sure what to make of it Something tells me this is a game where there's a ton of stuff waiting to be found. Am I actually... Hold. Back. Look. Nope. 
I might actually give this game um, a proper go offline. Uh, see if I can work out exactly what I meant to be doing in it. And then come back to you with an update further down the line. But for the moment, I, I really don't know what there is to this game. As I said, it's it's a well animated little uh, well animated little game. Character sprite looks quite friendly. I just don't really know what I'm meant to be doing. Yeah, I think I'm going to properly read through the instructions of this game and give you a part two at some point once I've worked out what's happening. Um, at the moment, I don't know. Um, Sinclair User gave it 3 out of 5 originally back in 1986. Re-reviewed re it with a 1 out of 10. Obviously, they weren't impressed at all. Sinclair, um, I think I said your Sinclair gave it a... 7 out of 10 or something, was it? Yeah, 7 out of 10. Crash gave it a 63%. Yeah, I think I'm going to be looking through the instructions and maybe look for a walkthrough or tips or something for it. In the meantime, I can't really say yes or no whether I like it. It looks good, as I said. It's... It's not very loud. Oh, hang on. What's, okay, so I've got a demon or something flying around the screen now. Anyway, it doesn't seem to be coming towards me. So we will leave it there. I will have a further look and see if I can figure out what I'm meant to be doing with the game. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. And I promise that we'll be doing more of these videos a bit more frequently um, going forwards. But... Uh, Thanks very much, and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.